Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter, or I guess reviewing some more stuff for Way of the Hunter. And I just wanted to real quickly before we get into this tell you guys that there is going to be some early access gameplay starting August 12th here on the channel. And you guys can enjoy all of that. And there is also going to be a few things that we're going to talk about real quickly to kind of clear a few things up. Because I've noticed a few comments over the last few videos and I just wanted to address a few of them. So one of the common questions that I've seen is how can I say that this game is good if it's not even out yet. And well, the, the short answer to that is because myself and quite a few other content creators are currently in early access for it even though we can't show anything till August 12th. Uh, most of us have had access for about a week now so we have had time to play the game and form our opinion on it so that's why I've been saying that this game is going to be great even though there hasn't been any released gameplay. Uh, we've all still been playing it so I can I can definitely assure you guys this game is exactly what they have been saying it is and it is going to be a good game and in fact it's my new favorite game. Another thing that I have seen quite a bit for some reason is people being confused with Way of the Hunter and Ultimate Hunting. I've seen a few comments asking why the game was pushed back and well it's not Way of the Hunter that was pushed back it is Ultimate Hunting that got pushed back to 2023. Way of the Hunter is still scheduled to release to everybody on August 16th and early access is just in one day now at the time of this video going live. So don't worry, Way of the Hunter has not been pushed back. That is a completely different game that ended up getting pushed back to 2023, made by a completely different development studio. I also saw quite a few people asking if non-typicals are going to be in the game, and they have said that there is no non-typicals at launch, but there is hopefully going to be some down the road. They didn't really specify whether or not there would be, but I assume it's probably planned, but at launch there will be no non-typicals that you can just randomly find throughout the world. However, they did mention in one of their uh, replies to a question in Discord that there is going to be rare fur types, so that is at least something that we can look forward to. Another thing that I saw asked about quite often was what platforms this game is going to be on, because it isn't super clear if you just kind of look at the trailers and stuff. However, it's not going to be on platforms like Xbox One, however, it will be on like the Xbox Series S and X. It will also be on the PlayStation 5, but not on the PlayStation 4, so it's only current generation consoles no last gen and obviously it's going to be on PC as well and I've had a few questions as to why that is and the only thing I can think of is that it's possible this game just would not be able to run well on last gen systems like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One because you gotta think these maps are going to be more than twice the size of a map in Call of the Wild and uh, some people have issues running Call of the Wild on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so I could imagine a map over twice the size would probably not su run super great on an old system like the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, so I imagine that is one of the reasons they didn't do it, and then also probably just trying to allocate their funds to the current generation of consoles since those will have a longer life cycle. And that's pretty much all the questions I wanted to get through real quickly. Uh, the only other thing we have to talk about is the schedule that we're going to be using for uh, the early access of Way of the Hunter. I'm going to be posting two videos a day, one at 8 a.m. and one at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the first four days of us being able to show everything off to you guys. And there will also be a live stream every day as well. And the first day we will be doing an eight hour live stream from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is going to be on August 12th for those that are not familiar with the release date of early access for Way of the Hunter. And now that we've talked about all that, let's get into the new images that have shown up on their Steam page and kind of cover them. This first one, I'm not exactly sure if it's a brand new one, but I know for a fact I have not shown it on the channel. This is going to be one of the Red Deer. And that actually brings me to another question I remember. I saw a lot of people saying the Red Deer looked really small, and something you got to remember is that these Red Deer are not going to be the giant New Zealand stags we see in the Hunter Call of the Wild. A lot of those are based off of the New Zealand stags. The ones in Way of the Hunter are more... I guess location based, so considering this is a Transylvania reserve, the red deer are modeled more off of the red deer you would see in Transylvania. And in a lot of places, red deer of this size are pretty much the average you would see. You're not going to see the giants that you see at New Zealand in other parts of the world, not nearly as often at least, obviously they could on rare occasions grow to be that large, but it's just not super common in places that aren't New Zealand. And one of the big reasons for that is the fact that New Zealand is a giant island with absolutely no predators on it. So 
so the deer there don't really have any threats so they're able to just grow to their maximum potential the next image we have to look at is one of the brand new ones they just posted on the steam page this right here is a good look at a larger bighorn sheep until now we've only seen small ones this is our first look at a big one and it actually looks incredibly good this might be the best model of a bighorn sheep that we have seen in a hunting game um, for a while, a lot of people considered Hunting Sim 2s to be one of the better looking Bighorn Sheep models, even though that game as a whole was not very good. They did have a couple good animal models, and the Bighorn was one of them, but this, I would say, definitely tops that by quite a lot, and I really do like the way this looks. It's not overly large on, like, the amount of curls that it has, like Call of the Wilds, but it looks more like a typical Bighorn that you would see in real life. And next, we have an up-close look at the Ross's Goose, which is actually a pretty cool species. It's, uh, I believe, one of the only all white bird species that we've seen in any of the hunting games which is really cool I, I didn't actually know that the Ross's goose was even a thing until this game and they do look really nice they do look incredibly good I, I gotta say that they are probably one of the nicest bird species in the game uh, based off of what they've shown in the trailers and stuff like that it, they do look really good I do love the way the Ross's goose looks though the lesser scop might be my favorite of the birds just based off of looks alone though these guys are beautiful uh, there's something about the lesser scop that I just love now this image is actually something they have not shown off yet so a lot of you are gonna be seeing this for the first time this is what the in-game map is gonna look like and I just want you guys to look at how detailed the actual terrain on the map is I love that that is such a nice look for a map and obviously I've been able to play the game so I've kind of seen this in game and but from what they show here I'll try to talk about as much as I can or at least as much as I'm allowed to talk about so you can kind of see there's a lot of different icons we've got icons for the need zones and you can see they're hovering over one of them it says it's a white tailed deer eating zone so that's going to be a location where the whitetail are feeding obviously and there's also a bunch of different icons for different species and it does appear that whenever you hover over one of them it shows the different icons in the area or I guess the different need zones in the area they've also got a couple other icons it looks like there's maybe some type of binocular icon which uh, obviously I can't really speak into too much about what they mean but we see different various icons on the map and it does look like it, there is going to be the similar system to Call of the Wild where you walk through an area and it kind of reveals it in a uh, similar fashion as you would see in Call of the Wild. Now, if you guys haven't already noticed it, let's uh, take a look at the bottom middle of the screen where it says toggle filter. That seems to be a filtering option for the different icons on the map. This is something we've been requesting in Call of the Wild for years and it's just never made it into the priority list of additions to be added to the game and it looks like way of the hunter is going to have it on launch and then there's also a couple more things at the bottom that say tracking markers and exploration markers and i can't get into those because they haven't talked about them but uh you guys can kind of let your imagination go wild as to what those could possibly be about and if we look at the top it shows objectives encyclopedia and your character which i'm assuming obviously Encyclopedia is going to be where you get your information. Objectives will obviously be mission objectives and your character will be everything relating to your character. And up in the top right, they show the amount of currency you have and I can't really go any further into that as I, I don't know how much they've talked about the uh, currency system. So we'll just leave it at that. But then we also see what appears to be uh, the time in game and also possibly a weather analysis or something like that and this final image is probably one of the prettiest looks at the reserve that we have seen this does appear to be the transylvania reserve as that is a mouflon there in the bottom right and mouflon are only on the transylvania reserve and this looks incredible it looks so nice that the water looks really good all the foliage looks pretty nice as well uh, the different colors in the trees are also a uh, very i guess hirschfeld-esque from call of the wild looking really good i'm loving what they're showing off it's nice that they're finally uh, showing a little bit more detail on some of the stuff they hadn't talked about and i'm assuming they're saving most things for early access which once again will be in one day at the time of this video going live so stay tuned for that it's going to be a really fun time and i believe that's going to be it for this video so if you guys enjoy this let me know down in the comments and let me know if there's anything else you would like me to talk about that they have shown recently and you'd like maybe a little more detail on and uh, for me to go in depth on it let me know in the comments and also if you're brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads with that being said 
Thank you guys for watching. We will be here tomorrow with a bunch of early access content and tons for you guys to see. And that's going to be it for now. Peace.